Keith Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. Sad news from the bodybuilding world. Yes, I have way too many of these announcements to make over the last couple of years, but a really good man, an IFBB pro, both in open bodybuilding, classic bodybuilding, has passed Lee Banks. Anyone who knew Lee Banks knew that this was a true gentleman in every sense of the world. He was a loyal friend. He was a good representative of the bodybuilding industry. I've interviewed him innumerable times. I can't say enough great things about Lee Banks. I know he used to have daycare centers uh, where they took care of children. He made the successful transition from bodybuilding to classic. And he actually made it to the Olympia. He placed in many shows. He won the 2010 IFBB North American Championships, which I remember I was there, when he, and he got his pro card there. He, be, he was a successful pro, too. He was really good. He had great genetics. Chris Aceto even said, you know, Chris worked with him a little bit. Chris said, the nicest guy of all time, and you know what? Some of the best genetics he'd ever seen in bodybuilding. But beyond bodybuilding, it was his, uh, his true character that I think really impressed a lot of people. He just was a guy who, when he came into the room, he just lit that room up. You can just feel his good energy. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the Lord has taken someone from us way too soon that was not meant to be taken from us. According to his wife, who posted on Facebook, he uh, passed from a carcinoid tumor that was in his intestinal tract. And he, I guess his metabolism, something was, was acting kind of weird. He knew something wasn't really right with his body supposedly, and he had gotten all these scans and checks and nothing was coming up. Well, his blood work was normal. Finally, on a, on a final scan, they noticed, I guess, the, the carcinoid tumor in his, in his intestinal tract, and I guess he had fought valiantly over the course of a year or so, and unfortunately succumbed to the illness. And, uh, you know, we hear about deaths all the time in our industry, and uh, this one hurts a lot. For those of you who knew Lee Banks, once again, he touched a lot of people's lives in a really positive manner, and he brought true professionalism to the sport of bodybuilding, and he always conducted himself as a true champion and as a true gentleman, and I don't think there's a single person in this entire sport of bodybuilding and fitness that would say that Lee Banks was anything other than a great representative of the sport and of, of humankind because he was just that good. I wish I had been better friends with him and was able to hang out with him more often. I wish he lived around me because he's the kind of guy that you want to associate with on a regular basis. And it's crazy, but they say, you know, the good die young. And that's really what this, uh, this announcement's about. Uh, Lee Banks passed way too soon. Um, I want to send my condolences, my prayers out to his family. I know he's a big family man, and I know they have to be hurting right now, so... Guys, if, uh, if you can, take a moment, say a little prayer for his family. Send out all the positive healing energy you can because they need it in this time. Uh, no one ever expects to lose a loved one, especially at such a young age, you know, in such a terrible way because uh, cancer is not a, uh, a fun way to go out, as we all know, for anyone who knew someone who passed from cancer. I just want to lead it choking up a little bit here, I'm sorry, but I just want everyone to really remember Lee as he was, a true champion, a true representative of our sport, and a awesome family man. Lee, I know you're up there looking down right now and inspiring me to say the words that I'm saying. Uh, I feel you with me, my friend. Until we meet again, thank you for leaving such a lasting impression on the bodybuilding world. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update.